In this video, we're going to have a look at how the CrushPix for Shopify dashboard works. Once you've installed CrushPix for Shopify, which you can do via the Shopify App Store, you can access the dashboard by using the Apps menu in the Shopify Admin and then clicking on CrushPix. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted by this screen, which we call the dashboard. As you can see, there's plenty going on here and uh, lots of statistics, but uh, these are all really useful things that will help you get the most from the app. So let's have a look at what we've got. At the top left, we have our image compression section. This gives us a full history of all the images that we have uh, crushed and compressed. As you can see here, I've had 56 images compressed so far. It gives us details on our quota used for the month, 11.8 um, megabytes out of 2 gigabytes, which is the full amount for my monthly plan. It tells us the type of compression we're using, in this case balance, and we'll touch on that shortly. And it gives us further details around our plan, uh, when it renews. Uh, you'll see that mine says minus 142 days, that's because I'm on a staff plan just for this demo. And you'll also see that we have automatic turn to on. This is a toggle switch that you can do pretty easily just by clicking it. Uh, and what this does, this means if it's on, that every image that you add to Shopify uh, will get crushed automatically. You can set it once and then literally forget it. You'll also notice that there's a settings feature at the top here. This is where you can pick your balanced uh, compression, your conservative compression or your custom compression. We recommend you use balance. This gives the best savings um, against the quality. So in other words, we work out through a series of tests uh, the best saving for the best quality. So we thoroughly recommend that. Of course, you can use our conservative setting too. Uh, this uh, will uh, reduce the size, but not the quality. Uh, again, some savings can be made there, but not as much through as the balance option. And uh, the custom is there as well, where you can actually go in and uh, tweak the individual settings for JPEG and PNG accordingly. You'll notice that the smaller file will have a lower uh, quality. And uh, the, the sort of higher image quality, again, will have less savings. So it's entirely up to you what you do there. But I'm going to click back onto Balanced, and that's automatically up, uh, updated for us. You'll also notice that we can select which images are compressed. Um, things like product images, absolutely recommend those. Asset images, those are the ones in your theme. Custom collection images and smart collection images, also very useful. Blog post images, and just to be clear on this, this is not... Uh, an image that will feature in the content section of your blog post. This is the blog post featured image. Uh, at this moment in time, Shopify does not allow us access to the actual uh, content images. Those are ones that would appear in the content area that you can edit in the admin. Uh, but we do have a way that you will be able to crush your images for use there. Just scrolling further down, you can see details about your plan as well as our data processing agreement if you'd like to read it. So let's go back to the dashboard and see what else we've got. On the top right, we've got the image rename function. This is uh, a premium feature available on all paid plans. And if you would like to upgrade, you can simply click on upgrade plan and you'll have details of all the different plans and all the different features on each one of those for crush picks for Shopify. Now, image renaming is a really powerful feature. As more and more customers are searching um, Google Images and other search engine image search facilities for products, having a really descriptive name is going to help you rank higher than um, if you just have something like 1079.jpg as your file name. So two things that you can do using this feature, one is you can rename the file name itself so it's more descriptive and again you have the automatic flag on. The other is you can uh, rename the alt tags. These are things um, that uh, browsers will use to um, describe the product image or the um, collection image that you have within your uh, website uh, for screen readers, but also search engines use these as well. So it's a really, really good way of adding more value to that image description. In order to change the settings for these, you literally go into the uh, settings as we did for the compression and you can select which ones you want to do. Once you're in say file name, you can click next and then you can go through and decide how you want those images to be renamed accordingly. We'll look more about, uh, into this uh, in a future video. So just to, for now, just know that that is a really powerful feature available on all of our paid plans. 
Scrolling further down, we have our manual upload feature. This, again, allows you to pick which type of compression you would like, whether it be balanced, conservative, or custom, and then add any image from your local farm uh, machine to Crush, uh, and those savings and reductions in size and uh, will be applied accordingly. You can then download those and use them in any project, not just your Shopify store, but we do recommend you use this for any image that you would like to place into your blog posts or content sections in your Shopify store. Finally, we have the sort of image history and you can see that uh, this keeps a track of all the uh, file names and alt tags that have been renamed, uh, whether it's been compressed, in this case if it's crushed you'll know that it has been, and the saving. You can also click on the image um, and you will be able to see uh, what it looks like so you can check whether those settings are working well for you. And let's just find one that's got a decent uh, saving. Here we go. This has got 14% and we can click on details and we can see all of the history. We can see when it was renamed, when the alt tag was renamed, uh, what type of compression was used. In this case, it was balanced. Um, and then we can see the original file size and the uh, crush size. So a good saving of almost 100k, 98 in fact, uh, right there. You can also use this section to search for a particular image. Um, I know that I've got some products in here that have red as part of the file name, so let me have a look for those. And again, I can go in and I can see exactly what that image looks like and make sure that it is exactly as it should be. Okay, that's Crush Picks for Shopify's dashboard. Uh, we've had a whistle-stop tour of some of the settings. We'll go into each one of these in more detail in the upcoming video series. If you have any questions, you can contact our support team at support at spacesquirrel.co. And just for reference, Space Squirrel is the company behind Crush Picks for Shopify.